I love Ribot's unpredictability, knowing they can swap weapons with only four bolts on the bot. It's so effective throwing other teams off, but I will say this, Chris, Zach and Diana may not know if Ribot's going horizontal or vertical, but they are some clever veterans, and they're gonna be prepared for anything. Well, we have a real chess match brewing here in a high stakes fight. Gonna be fun to see how this plays out. Everything's on the line for Team Ribot tonight. Let's check it out, Farouk. In the red square, this team came to World Championship 7 looking for a win. And when I look at them, I think of 7, that movie about the 7 deadly sins. They're a glutton for punishment and have no shortage of pride. When they unleash their wrath, everyone in the pits runs and hides. I don't envy their opponents because if they sloth, they're taking an L. This team lusts after destruction. In that way, they're greedy as hell. What's in the box? What's in the box? It's your dead robot, courtesy of Scorpio! Okay, here's Zach and Diana walking their bot out, and it looks like they've gone with their anti-vertical configuration. Is that right, Kenny? Yeah, with the long forks and smaller front wedge, it's meant to get under and deflect a vertical. It's new for this season and did help them beat Jackpot's vert a few weeks ago, but if they did guess wrong and Ribot goes horizontal, those forks could get ripped up real quick. And the blue square. This next bot will jump around till you're in a house of pain. So pack it up, pack it in, and run if you're sane. Word to your moms, this bot it embalms your body for free after it kills without qualms. It came to get down, it came to get down. So get out your seat and run! It's Ribot! David Jin, captain of Ribot there on the right, leading out his crew from WPI. And look at this, they did go vertical, Kenny. Yeah, it looks like Zach and Diana guessed correctly, which means David will need to rely on Ribot's speed to get around to the sides of Scorpios. If he tries to go head-to-head, -head, Scorpios is set up to control and push them around. If that happens, the season's over. Let's take a quick look at who the builders like in this one. Okay, last year's number two overall seed still getting some love back in the pits. Well, Chris, here's a little insight into why Ribot probably went with their vertical weapon. In 28 career matches, Scorpios has a 73% win rate against horizontal spinners. Against verticals, just 47%. Ah, makes sense then. It's a team full of engineers. Of course they're playing the odds. Robots activate.
fall off of the weapon of Scorpios. That is not good. Looks like the chain to their hammer saw, but Zack Lytle's not backing down. Good job pushing Rib out into a short corner. Yeah, Scorpios has to shift their game plan to be all about control now. Nice job by Rib out getting a few shots into Scorpios' forks. Oh, well, this is a huge opportunity for Team Rib out to take advantage of. Boy, are they right now. Just cutting up the underbelly of Scorpios. Oh! and it is doing some damage to Scorpios in the corner. Yeah, David Jin's really taking control here. Zach Lytle needs to turn things around and get Ribot's back against the wall. Well, both bots staying aggressive. Scorpios isn't giving up just yet. An excellent move, putting Ribot right under the pulverizer. Yeah, but Scorpios might be the one in trouble now, Chris. Ribot oh. trying to chew on those tires, and it looks like they got the back left one, Kenny. And I tell you what, they're going to need a knockout to impress oh. the selection committee. And they are definitely trying to go for a knockout here. I'm curious whether or not Zach Lytle can make it another minute plus. I mean, look at that left tire. That thing is just shredded. Yeah, and Zach Lytle's doing everything he can to try and keep that plow pointed forward, but Ribot's just not letting up. Just a dominant performance so far by David Jin's squad. Chris, if they hang on and end up making the round of 32, this is a team that could be a major bracket buster come tournament time. Zach Lytle's bonded Scorpios, non-functional at this point. Ribot.